In this video, we will be introduced to the normal model and the 68-95-99.7 rule. In a previous video, we learned that a z-score is the number of standard deviations a value is away from a mean. We also learned previously that to calculate the z-score, we use the formula z equals x minus the mean of the sample divided by the standard deviation of the sample. We will be using z-scores as we work with the normal model. Let's say we make a histogram using given data. If our data is symmetric, unimodal, and the distribution is bell-shaped, the data is said to be normally distributed. For normally distributed data, we use a model called the normal model to determine the portion of values that lie within specific ranges. With normally distributed data, most of our values will lie between three standard deviations below the mean and three standard deviations above the mean. The model goes into even more detail, telling us that 68% of the values are within one standard deviation of the mean. In other words, 68% of the values have a z-score between negative 1 and 1. 95% of the values are within two standard deviations of the mean. In other words, 95% of the values have a z-score between negative 2 and 2. 99.7% of the values are within three standard deviations of the mean. In other words, 99.7% of the values have a z-score between negative 3 and 3. Let's take a look at how we can use this information in an application. If the mean SAT math score is 500 and the standard deviation is 100, how unique is a student who gets 740 on the math SAT? To answer this question, we have to start by finding the z-score. Z is equal to the SAT score minus the mean over the standard deviation. 740 minus 500 over 100. Z is equal to 2.4. We look for the z-score of 2.4 on the x-axis. 99.7% of values are within three standard deviations of the mean, and 95% of values are within two standard deviations of the mean. If we subtract these percents, we get the percent of values between two and three standard deviations from the mean. But a half of these values are below the mean and a half of these values are above the mean. We divide by two and find that 2.35% of values are between two and three standard deviations above the mean. This tells us that a student who gets a score of 740 is unique, as only 2.35% of students fall in that range. Here's a summary of what we've learned. The normal model can be used on symmetric, unimodal data that is bell-shaped. Normally distributed data follows the 68-95-99.7 rule. On normally distributed data, we can use the z-score to determine how a value compares to other values in the dataset. 